Let's look at how to create a layout like this using floats. So if, if we remember how floats work, you can see that the text here about Venus is floating around the image. So it's wrapping around the image. So that means the, the image itself has floated. And then we have this other box here that's sort of this brownish color. So if we go to our HTML now, I want to write some HTML to create this layout. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make the, the wrapper box. So I'm just going to create a div here and I'm going to put my image in it. So that is venus.jpg. All right, so let's go back and get our text here. And so that's just going to be paragraphs. So I'll go back to my code editor and I'll create a paragraph here, paste my text in. All right, so there we go. So we have a div and we have my image and the paragraphs. And let's look at that in the browser now. You can see it looks like this. So it's a little bit different from what it looks like in Photoshop. So let's start by putting the background color on my div. So I'm going to grab that here. And also you'll notice the font here is sans serif, so I'm going to do that instead. So I'm going to target HTML, and let's get rid of margin and padding. I'll go font 100%, oh, I've got my normal in there. Normal 100%, 1.5, sans serif. All right, and then we're going to target the div and give it the background color. Okay, so that looks pretty close. Now, uh, my div here has some padding around it. You can see the padding is equal on all sides. So let's put some padding on it. Let's just go with 1M. There we go. So that looks pretty close to what we see in Photoshop. The only thing we're missing, though, is that we need to float the image. So let's target my image and we'll say float left. All right, there we go. So look, you can see the text is touching right on the edge. It's not exactly the what we're looking for. So I'm going to go into here, and I'll put a margin on its right-hand side. Let's guess of 1M. Let's do a margin on the bottom, again, of 1M. And that should create more of a layout that we're looking for. Now you'll notice that in my Photoshop document, you can see the top of the paragraph lines up with the top of the image. But in Chrome here, you can see there's some space. And that's because the browser by default here adds, as it adds margins to the top and the bottom of my paragraph. So we probably want to fix that. I'm going to target the paragraph and I'm going to get rid of the margin on the top. I'll just set it to zero. And there we go, that's more of the look that we're going for. So you can see we've just floated our image, then we adjusted its margins a little bit to get this sort of effect using floats.